you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? In this question, we are told that the cost of dinner for a group of tourists is partly constant and partly varies as the number of tourists present. Now, it costs $740 when 20 tourists were present and $960 when the number of tourists increased by 10. Note that it is increased by 10, okay? So we have to find the cost of the dinner when only 15 tourists were present. First, to solve this problem, we need to understand where it's coming from. And by the time we are getting to see the word, it's partly constant and partly varies, then we know that we are talking about variation, all right? So this is a question on variation, and we'll try to first coin out the formula that will be suitable to express what we are being told in this question, so that we can now apply the variables, all the values that we are, we are given. We can apply them into the variables, and again, we'll be able to estimate when we have only 15 tourists to be present. So, now, let's try and um, interpret this into mathematical formula. We're told that the cost of a dinner for a group of tourists is partly constant and partly varies. Let that cost, we'll take it as C, okay? The constant, we'll take it as K, and then the number of tourists, let's say that will be N, okay? So go ahead to solve that now. That will mean that when they say it is partly constant, that means it's not, very, it's not varying at all. But what we are looking for is the cost. So C is equal to partly constant means that is a constant k okay then it partly varies as the number of the tourists present let me make the constant of proportionality let me make that as t okay then the number of tourists let me make that as n so i'll say this is n t okay where c is the cost okay let me use blue ink for that where c is the cost n is number of tourists okay t is my constant of proportionality and k is the given constant that we have that is partly constant okay so k is the constant given now looking at all these parameters we can put in in the first scenario we're told that it costs somewhere around 40 dollars when 20 tourists were present okay so in that case what we can say is that 740 is equal to K, okay, plus what's the number of tourists? We are told that there are 20. 20 T, alright? That's in the first case. Now, it will cost $960 when the number of tourists increased by 10. What do we understand by increase? That means we are adding 10 to the initial one that we have before. We need to get that correctly to be able to solve this question. So, that means we have 960 is equal to again k plus increase by 10 will mean that 20 plus 10 okay and 20 plus 10 is 30 t so having these two equations now i can call this equation one and this is equation two we can go ahead to say we want to try and solve this question let's say i want to subtract okay so tracking will help to actually solve this because I can see that k can be knocked out so that I can get the value of t effectively. So I can say let me subtract 
So 740 minus 960, that will be minus mm, 0, 14 minus 6. I think it will be better to say equation 2 minus equation 1. Okay, so if I say equation 2 minus equation 1, that means 960 minus 740, that will be 220, okay, is K minus K, that will knock out 30T minus 20T, that will be 10T. So I can divide both sides by 10, therefore T, I can get to be 22, okay? Then using the value of T in, let's say, equation 1, I cannot have 740 is equal to k plus 20t. But instead of t, I can use 22. So that k will be 740 minus 20 times 22 will be 440. And that will be, because that will be 300. So I have t, I have k meaning that I can get my equation out to be that C is equal to, what is the K? 300 plus 22, and because T is 22, and then I will be looking for the N if I'm to work that out. So, this equation that I can now use to try and solve for whatever number of tourists will now come around. And look at the question. They are now saying that when we have 15 tourists, what is the cost of the dinner? All you just need to do is just to substitute 15 into N and then find the expression as appropriate. And in short, to solve that, let me just clear the board. Since I've been able to express effectively what I want to do here, so I can say I'm clearing the board here. So the question is that when the number of tourists is equal to 15, we have to find the value of the cost. That is just going to be C is equal to 300 plus 22 times 15. Okay? 22 times 15, that will be 15. Let's do that. 22 times 15. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 1, that's 110, and then we have 22, that will be 330, okay, so this will be 300 plus 330, and that is nothing but $630, so the price when there are 15 tourists is nothing but $630, and with that, we have solved this question of variation. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.